I thought about what's the easiest path, and I think it's going through the fire area next. My name is Over, or at least that's what people call me. I don't know, I just kind of like that intro all of a sudden. But uh, this is Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. Uh, it is not the remastered edition. I'm sorry if you want it to be the remastered edition, but they're pretty much the same, and the remastered edition is pretty much Dark Souls with DS fix. Which I also don't have DS fix because I am a little too lazy to bother installing a mod for next to little reasons for me, really. Day, I'm gonna go kill this. I don't even know what he's called. Is, is he called like the fire demon or because he shoots fucking wind? I don't need any, I don't need to get any fire emblem or chaos ember. Let's not be dumb and not run, run through. Let's not be dumb and run straight through that. This place is so red. Nice lava glows. Nice lava glows, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go with this. It's apparently that's what my brain's going with. Drop your weapon. Drop the demon machete. Drop the demon machete. You didn't drop the demon machete. I was hoping for the demon machete if you couldn't tell. I don't know if I'll actually be invaded because I didn't kill him earlier. You get invaded by um, Thornbro. There it is. Nightkirk. Although, I give zero shits for invaders. And that was a ton of souls. Some humanity. Ooh, got a spike shield. I have to kill that before I can use that bonfire. Quickest way, I believe, is to just drop down. Man, that has so little health. Because I think that attack just straight up downgrades your weapons. So it could be very, very deadly. So since I have enough souls, I'm killing Kirk. Violing Shrine it is. And then you'll never guess what I'm going to do from here. Yeah, you, you probably guessed it. Go to the Pyromancer. Level up my glove to plus 15. You were right. Purchase modify equipment plus fifteen. Purchase item. I might as well buy. Is it flash sweat? Reduces flame damage. Yeah, I might as well get flash sweat. Might as well get fireball while I'm here. Might as well just buy everything. He now will go insane. Armand sees the. Sorry, guy. Thought I just made you go insane. Wait, Where, where are you off to? Uh, buying all the items from an NPC and then exhausting all of their dialogue and just making it so they have nothing left to do, they ended up hollowing out and going crazy. No, I have to redo that run because I rested. I knew I needed to use a homeward bone. Well, I guess I'm going to run back to that bonfire, and then you guys will just join me there. I made it back here, safe and sound, first try. So, I think what I'm going to do is just go straight for the door and just avoid everything. Why did I attack? I pressed B. That's weird. Well, anyways, I think I'm just going to run straight through, not attack anything, and just go destroy the boss. No. Oh. 
That was almost terrible. Missed me. I attacked again and I pressed B. Okay, now my controller is just not wanting to work. Back up, back up. Great, right bumper's not working again. I got it to work extremely reliably. Now I'm just literally can't even get it to work. There's no point of using fire on this guy. This, I, I don't know what's going on. I literally can't even hit him. I'm gonna have to, am I gonna have to heavy attack him the whole fight? That'd be terrible. Oh my gosh. I lost this fight. Purely because I can't attack with my button right now. I, like, literally the RB is not working. You hear that? That's me slamming in right bumper. Left bumper works. Right bumper does not. No matter how hard I press right bumper, it is not working. Okay. Um, this is not okay. Uh key settings okay um attack right click h i have to press h every time i want to attack why does backing out of a menu every time i back out of a menu by pressing b i attack do i need to reload the game i hope i don't I, i'm just gonna painfully press h on my keyboard Every time I want to attack for now. And after this, I will restart my computer and probably take my controller apart. And hopefully I can get the button to work. But as of now, I'm just gonna press H. With my pinky or something. I can do the same attack two times in a row. I'm stuck in a corner. Pressing H, and that's not even... I have to heavy attack this boss the whole time. That's not fair. This game's not fair. All right, I'm just gonna have to restart my computer. Not being able to light attack is seriously messing with me. Wonder what happened. I wonder why that's doing that. I seem to have gotten my controller working. I took it apart and the button was totally pushed in. But that still doesn't explain why when I was pressing B, I was attacking when I came out of menus. But that's no longer happening either. So I'm not going to complain. Maybe pushing it and maybe pressing B on the controller activated something. I don't know. But now, let's give this shot. Let's give this boss my best shot. I got no excuses this time for failing other than I just sucked. So... I want to unlock the shortcut. I have enough humanity to unlock the shortcut. No, I'm not going to bother with the shortcut. It 
So much different being able to be aggressive on a boss. Ah, I'm taking damage, taking damage. Oh, I dodged it all. Expect to take damage there too. Ah, oh, there, there's the damage. I need to get right back on her, otherwise I'm dead. I'm dead. Dang it! I, I jumped instead of rolling. I hate that. I really wish it was like in Dark Souls 3. I don't know if it's like in Dark Souls 2, where you can make it so when you sprint, pressing down your left stick is the jump, and you can still let go of B and press B to roll. I literally died because I jumped in the air and didn't iframe instead of rolling. Oh well. Well, as you've seen, that's the difference of uh, being able to right click, well, being able to attack with your right mouse bumper. It's weird. That even. Hmm. No, I'm thinking it was up because now H is working to attack. I'm thinking, like, something game wise just was fucked up. Because now H is also attacking when it clearly wasn't before. I thought I rolled, but that's okay. I didn't I didn't really want to roll. Who rolls? That was a decent heavy attack right there. Here we go. Time to not die. Time to get one attack in and prepare. <coughs> Bear! Stop barking, man. Stop barking. Come on. No bark. No bark. Thank you. Hey. Sorry. My dog's barking at something. I mean, I know you heard, but I don't know what he's barking at. Let's not bark. Oh, there's people outside. I live in a pretty large college dorm. It's the only dorm that allows pets. Not not a dorm, my bad. An apartment out off of campus. But a lot of, you know, a lot of college students move in here because it's one of four places in town that actually allows you to have pets. So it's pretty popular here. And we're really close to campus. I got flash sweat for this boss, but I didn't equip it now that I'm looking at this, and I don't want to run back. I really don't want to run back. My dog is just standing perched like he's gonna start barking at anything that moves. Oh, I made it here. Well, this is where you wanna go fight this boss at. Throw on some armor. I tried to unlock on to dodge that attack, but that clearly did not work. Come on, I need stamina so I can roll an attack. 
How did you hit me with that? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense either. How did I miss? I don't know what's happening. I do know he's dead now. That's all that really matters to me. Well, first try. All right. Let's equip that orange charred ring. Let's take that off. Still have your link, not surprised. But with the orange charred ring, I can run on lava, so I'm happy. I wish this door led to something. I feel like they thought, hey, we'll do a future DLC and we'll add something there, but then they didn't do something with the DLC. They came up with a new idea. So they could have added a second DLC. I mean, there's a few doors like large like that in this whole game, I feel like. Especially in this area, because you can run like farther into the depths of, instead of the abyss, the, 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 the hell or something. I don't know, something. I'm at the point of no return where I can't run back because if I run back I have to like if I warp out of here I have to run all the way back here so I pretty much can't leave here until I kill the last boss for this area I don't have arrows I guess I could firebomb it or I could homeward bone out I'm, I think I'm going to be cheap and do the quit out method to be honest yeah I'm gonna do the, the cheap method and back out the game I need to go there it's lava is ridiculous. It's so, so bassy. Okay, he's not letting me run up that way, so I'll just run around this way. Get my hero soul. Oh, it's a great hero. Awesome. That's 20,000 souls. I think there are more souls up here. I think. I'm not 100% certain. I think this is an item, not souls. Oh, you have 20 enemies. I'm going to admit this. I used to not know about this hidden wall here. It's a game changer. It really is. I'm going to do this area as a human. And I'm actually going to just use five total humanity to s -dis this bonfire back up to max. So I can have 20 um, s -dis going through here. Because I think I need it. I'll be honest, I really do think I need it. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed episode 12 so far. I think this is 12. 
I will see you in the next episode.